Hi everyone, I'm gonna share with you how to make another basket for your sewing room. So here I have two fabric that I already cut. This one is a little thick, and that's what I like in the lining fabric. And the size of this, 6 inches wide and 16 inch and half long. Okay, so I have two. And I also cut the yellow one right here. This yellow piece I cut two and a half inches by 16 inches and a half. Now I'm going to place the right side of the yellow together like this. A quarter of an inseam allowance. You're going to sew this yellow piece on this. So all the way. And when you're done sewing this, flap this out. And then you're going to place the right side of the lining and the right side of that yellow. And then you're going to sew a quarter up and ends on this one. So every one after I sew them together, the yellow, and it looks like this, okay? So the sew line I'm facing into the yellow. I'm gonna put that on the side. You can use the baby blanket that you don't use anymore, but I have like the, the felt lining right here. The, but it doesn't have a sticky thing that I can um, stick it on the, the fabric. So I cut in here, same size, both of them. I cut this 6 inches wide by 15 inches and half. Alright, this is the sticky side and this is the paper side. This is heat and bond tape. You can purchase that from Walmart. And the sandy kind of feelings facing down to the fill. And now you're going to iron. But if you have something that you can iron on and it's sticky, you can feel free to use that. I can peel this off. You have to check and see if you'll be okay. You can peel this off the paper here. A piece of paper you don't use anymore, okay? You're gonna throw that away. So bring this back. You're going to make sure this two sides are meeting together. I'm going to open this up. You can see the line that we iron to place it in here. Go right on the that line and then on the two side of this you can have you have half an inch on the two sides here half an inch half an inch and half an inch okay now you're going to iron this so it can stay down on the fabric so do that iron the whole thing down okay on the main side of the fabric and go up to the halfway of the yellow the best way to do after you iron a little bit at the end here and then turn into the right side you iron on main side of the fabric right here because that where the the sticky side is near here so it can stick together quicker we're going to fold the right side in we're going to sew this side, okay? So we're going to make sure the sew line, touching the sew line. Everything match like this, okay? All my products I donate to the senior center or give away to my friend here. I have no time to sell. A lot of people say you should sell. No, I don't have time. So right here, you can leave about two and just or two and a half open. So you're gonna sew on this side. You sew a quarter up and in this side all the way down to here and stop. Leave this open and sew this line. One of the eyes on this and then left it here open. Now I'm going to make the circle to go over here. 
if you're not sure sometimes you can make it a little bit um, less sewn on the side and then a little bit off then you get the the tape ruler and then you measure the whole thing okay so now i'm gonna make the circle as my um the bottom of that basket is five inches to make a five inch circle i fold the paper in half and then i fold that again from here i'm gonna mark them two and a half inches to make it five so whatever circle you decide to make after you fold the paper you're going to go halfway if you want to make it 10 inches then you go five you want to make it six then you go three now i want to make it five and go two and a half if that makes sense after you fold and half and then fold again This is the same thing that I'm using, this one, but it doesn't have anything to support um, it to stay. So I'm using this circle and I trace this, the heat and bond tape, the same thing that I just used. And then this one I cut the sack the same. So I'm going to iron on this. When you iron this kind of interfacing, you low heat not too high because it going to melt it out like this okay go on to fold it in half and then you go on to fold it again but you're going to just mark right here, like that. This one for the lining and this one for the men okay like that so whatever i'm doing here you're doing here exactly the same so fold in this way you mark on this side and then you go on to hold this side with the side you just marked with the one that you just marked and flatten this down mark on this side and mark on this side and there you go you have four one two three and four and do the same thing to this side all right so we're going to work on this one doing this so you easily to see okay so go to this slide right here and this this and this This is what we do and I'm going to go on a sewing machine and I'm going to show you I'm going to take this out okay just smallest for me it's easier
sorry everyone after i sew on this side and then on this side too we'll go on to inside out this with the opening right here Go in sew machine and then sew this. So after I sew on this, you can just stuck it back in. When you stuck it, look at this, how cute. When you stuck it back in, make sure you go in around and press on the bottom of this basket. Perfect. Try off this side. So it's your choice of adding the um, the ribbon on the top or the bottom. It's up to you. But I like to show the yellow. I have another one here too. optional okay any kind of ribbon you want to use it's all up to you okay so very simple i don't show you how to do it so you do what you do because if this is optional you don't need to if you don't use the ribbon or the lace or anything like that you can go and top it on the yellow part okay everyone i finished and look at that how beautiful it is easy to look on the bottom of the the thingy this one is good when you buy the uh, flower vase and something like that, the uh, flower pot, and then you can put it in there, but I wouldn't. <laughs> so the high of this is six inch and a quarter. Five inches. Super easy. Stay safe everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share and subscribe and also click on the bell notification. Every time I upload a video you get notified and um, check on my second channel too. Support my channel over there everyone. Stay safe. Love you.